Hello my fellow Freedom Builders and welcome back to the channel here on a late Friday afternoon in Denmark. It is raining outside but something has come up. Uh, I made a video yesterday about the Petrosky score to uh, evaluate if the stocks were good or bad and um, I've got some questions as to where to find it because the places I found mine was in some paid services that I subscribe to and uh, I fully understand those of you sitting out there not wanting to pay the big box for different platforms especially if you don't have that much money to invest with. So um, I can appreciate that so therefore today I'll just show you how to find that free uh, that Petrosky score for free on the internet uh, that is a fantastic thing. All right first of all um, I have reached the goal 3,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is absolutely amazing. I started in, I think it was in the beginning of November, I put out my first videos in 2019. And around New Year, I think it was around 600 subscribers. And I was completely baffled and surprised that 600 people wanted to sign up. Now we are at 3,000 in just around seven months. And that is amazing. Thank you very much for that. My Danish channel has something like 4,000 subscribers and that took me 10 or 11 years. So seven months for 3,000 subscribers. Thank you very much. Keep posting it, sharing it, liking it and subscribing. That is uh, what makes this YouTube channel grow. And the more we grow, the more motivated I, may, I get to, to make videos like this. So if you want to see a flow of videos, make sure to subscribe and like and all that stuff and share it if you are at some Facebook platforms out there where I'm not present, then please share my videos if you think they are relevant for uh, the participants in the group. All right, let's get to the uh, part here where we actually uh, get some uh, facts in. And we have the uh, Petrosky resource. And let me just show you, it is very easy. I'm here in Google, I guess you all know that. And uh, what you have to type here is just Guru Focus. Guru Focus is a um, is a platform that I subscribe to. It's a bit uh, it's a bit expensive, so I actually only recommend you use it if you have a very large account or this is a part of your job or something like that. It is not the um, it's not the platform I use the most, but it is a good platform, and uh, I'll show you in a second. So you just type Guru Focus plus P O Trotsky plus, and as you can see here, I just tested it with Apple. Uh, and then you press enter. All right, I'm actually not sure you could see what I typed there. It might have been just outside, but you can see it here. Guru Focus plus Petrosky plus Apple here. And you can just see the first one here. Apple Petrosky F score Guru Focus. You press this one. I'll let me just see what comes up here. Yeah, Apple Petrosky F score eight as of today. So down here, you can see a bit further Petrosky F score indicating a very healthy situation. You can see what a good score and a bad score is. Of course, you know that because you watched my video yesterday. Uh, you can see it here. You can also see what the minimum Petrosky score Apple has had at some point in the history and what their maximum is. And right now they are in the good eight end here. It states down here during the past 13 years, the highest Petrosky scores and so on. So that is for the last 13 years, uh, you can find it here. Now, now that we are in here, um, you can also find all sorts of other stuff on, in Guru Focus. And of course, if you subscribe, I just logged out here, but if you subscribe, of course, there is a, a million different things you can you can find in here. But you uh, in here, you can find the Alton C score, the Benish score and so on. And that is uh, different scores that I might make some videos about because they are some uh, easy ways to get around and see if, for instance, there's too much debt in a company or something like that. You can see the dividends per share, earnings per share, all of the good numbers that you normally use for uh, for having a, a good analysis of a company. You can see valuation, profitability, uh, all of the difference, the P, PE ratio, PEC ratio, EV to EBITDA, all that stuff. Uh, down here, you can see some competitive comparison um, the, with the Petrosky score up here and the market cap. And you can see that this is Apple. They have a, a nice and high Petrosky score, but there are also some competitors here. Qsera, don't know them, uh, sorry. 
Um, uh, we have Sony Corp here, we have Samsung, we have uh, Gree Electric, we have China Electronics. There are the, some of their, their peers, uh, some of their, their competitors, and you can see the competitive comparison data out here. Uh, you can also see here how the, uh, the, the Petrosky score distribution. Um, um, yeah, you can find a ton of information really down here. Uh, here is how it is calculated. You also know that from the video the other day, but here are all the details. And now you know the Petrosky score, but let's say that you wanted to see the buyback yield, for instance. Then you just went in here and you could say, well, the adult buyback yield is 4.74. And uh, let's see some of this. Uh, here are the calculations, uh, and you can see a, a lot of information down here. So actually, Guru Focus is a great place to go if you need the, some numbers, some specific numbers from a, for a specific company. Uh, it is not uh, in the free version, uh, at least. It is not very. Uh, it, it's not a good place if you want to screen the market because you have to type in every single uh, ticker uh, here and that would be quite uh, time consuming. So if you want that, I, uh, I suggest that you sign up for Guru Focus or uh, actually there's also the Stockopedia that I usually use. Um, that is also a, a good place you can go to. Or there is the, uh, the platform, the Quant Invest that uh, I talked about yesterday. I will link to all of them below here. So if you want uh, to test any of them, please follow the affiliate link uh, beneath here. Um, and then uh, if you want to pay up for them, then I'll get a bit uh, of a cut there. So, uh, but many of these platforms fortunately have free versions. And as you can see, uh, if you are just a, a smaller investor or you don't want to spend as much money on different tools and, and, uh, and uh, platforms, then there is a ton of free stuff on the internet today. And that is, of course, fortunate for us. I wish I had that in, in 1987 when I started investing. But that was another time before the internet and cell phones. All right. That's all for today. This was just a quick and short video. Again, thank you very much for your support reaching 3000 subscribers. And I actually hope that we can get that maybe doubled or tripled somewhere around New Year. But let's see how it goes. Take care of yourself and your money out there. And I'll talk to you again soon. Have a very nice weekend. Bye for now.